Shalom, coming to you in the name of Yahweh, Basham, Yashai, Basham, Rakak, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and their elders at Great Millstone and salutes to the Akim that continue to push the word in truth and in sincerity. I'm just doing this video like this because um, YouTube cut off, you know, the Google Hangouts and stuff. So I'm still trying to work out how to get these on screen lessons out. But um, I've got one video uploading currently, but that's going to take a while. Um, but I just wanted to get this point out that um, the seriousness of uh, being a priest, okay, and um, when you come into this truth, you know, it's blood in, man, and it's blood out, you know, um, you take up the office of a priest, essentially. <laughs> as we grow and mature in the faith okay the scriptures tell us that we are a nation of kings and priests the word kingdom itself means domicile of the kings okay you know so we are a nation of kings and priests okay this is the book of Genesis 14. I'm only going to pull out one verse. Genesis 14 and 18. And Melchizedek. And in the Hebrew that's Malak Tazadak. King of Salem. Which in the Hebrew is Shalom. Which is peace. Brought forth bread and wine. And he was the priest of the most high power. Now if you can bear it in the spirit. Um, this was the first priest unto the Most High before the priesthood okay that's why um uh, the scripture says Yahweh said but before Abraham was I am okay because um Yahweh Shai is the first begotten spirit okay the son of the Most High and um he was the first priest before the Levitical priesthood was set up, Malak Tazadak is Yahweh Shai, King of Peace. If you read in Revelations, that's one of his titles, Prince of Peace. Okay? And it says, and he was the priest of, and, and he was the priest of the Most High Power. He was the priest of Yahweh. Now, if you go on the tours, let me get into the word priest. My lock does a duck. Lacham means bread. Lacham. The word here for priest is um, Kahan. Uh, and there it just says Levitical priest. Kahan Haggadah would be high priest in the Hebrew. If I remember correctly okay and it says Prince haha <laughs> see so the kings and priests go hand in hand the nation of kings and priests um, one officiating okay when we say we are men of the Lord or we claim to be priests and stuff like that which we are through faith we have to remember it's a serious office man we're officiating now I got up the word officiate and it says an act of an official in charge of something so when when you become a priest when you come into this truth we are in the we the lord has given us the talent man as the parable says the lord has put us in charge of something in charge of the truth in charge of sophia just like a husband right when he marries a wife it's his job okay you know obviously you know, you feel in the woman and that when you so-called date, you know, you grab her up and stuff, you know, in the ancient world. And you, you, you love her and stuff, okay? So it's not like a chore to you, but nonetheless, it is your job to protect that woman. It is your job to uh, provide for that woman and your children, okay? It's your job to protect your family, your wife and your kids, <laughs> Michael Cow. At the end of the day, you know, 
I love my wife and kids. <laughs> do 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 do. So lucky, man. I remember watching that as a kid. They used to say that line a lot. But hey, that's that's the point, man. As a husband, it's your your duty to protect your wife and children. Now, when we come into this truth, it says that wisdom will test you. Okay, but wisdom is Sophia, that woman, the true woman. So, as a priest, we're in shock. We're, we're now when Sophia gives herself over to you. We 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 have to. Uh, we're in charge of that to protect it to nurture it as you would a woman okay you know look after it okay all right responsible synonyms <laughs> boy you know manage oversee supervise conduct run and lead this is the job of a priest because they officiate in the office of the temple okay you know now the scriptures tell us that the lord is not dealing with uh building his in hands man you know so we officiate we're officiating in this truth man you know so the role of a priest isn't no willing any job man okay it's a holy office that we must take seriously man okay all right so I just wanted to throw that out there, man. You know. What the Lord has entrusted us with is a serious thing. We've got to continue to do it in all sincerity and in truth. You know, as priests, as men of the hopeful men of the Lord. You know, the prophet's coming back with our full might, man. Because this is the word of the Lord which he has entrusted us with. You know, if you get this truth and you mess it about and then uh, pick it up when you want again. You know, boy, the Lord going to deal with you. So we got to pray that the Lord keeps the spirit on us. Gives us the power to take charge and officiate in this holy office. This calling that he's brought us into of this marvelous life. And it's with that, I'm going to wrap it up. I'm going to say Shalom.